Hey guys, Kelly here. So I am taking my computer out for the first time since arriving here in Mexico. So we are going exploring. I'm gonna go check out one of the coffee shops and I will be sharing that with you guys because it seems like every time I move, there's always construction like a month after I move in. So my apartment right now is really loud because apparently they're installing a new bathroom on the bottom floor, which I'm sure you guys wanna hear all about that. But anyway, so I will be sharing the ride out to the coffee shop and then I'll share with you guys what it looks like, what's going on, and the whole nine yards. All right, here we go. So here we are at the Midtown Cafe, and let's see what the promotion is. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Uh, so we're gonna go in here and kind of chill out, get some work done. I am in the middle of town. There's a place over here uh, called Cafe Organico. I'll have to share that one with you guys another day. I had breakfast there. It's a vegan place or organic place, and the food was really good. All right, so let's head on in here. I hope their seating is more comfortable than that because my bony behind, that's not cool. All right, I'll see you guys. Uh, let's see what's inside. All right, guys, so I am here, and yeah, the seats are a little um, hard, but they got cushion J. Because uh, bony butt syndrome is a real deal. So let me show you guys the cafe. They've got little jewelry pieces back here. Y'all know I love jewelry, right? And so this is kind of what it looks like on the inside. They've got their spot back here where they're going to be taking the orders. Um, this coffee shop does have Wi-Fi. And as you can see, you know, it's a really cool, quaint looking little place. And so, there I go disappearing. Um, it's got pie. I see pie. <laughs> so anyway, uh, oh, it's got a little extra space over here that I didn't see. So I'm gonna venture over there. Let's see, oh, it's a bookstore. So that's kind of cool, huh? All right, so let me do the spin. So they got all kinds of books, and that's kind of cool, huh? Ah, nice. So if you come and you just want to sit and read a book, you know, that's pretty cool. Or you can do what I'm getting ready to do and get some work done. So I will see you guys uh, shortly after I get some work done. See you soon. Decided that it's such a beautiful evening that I wanted to come out to the park. And the Uber um, app put me like at a park that was 30 minutes outside of the city. I was like, wait a minute, what is happening? And it just refused to let me put in the right park. So I wanted to come to Parque de Santiago. And finally I had to stop the Uber driver. And I was like, look, I wanna go to the Santiago park in the city. So here I am um, in the city and missed a lot of really cool shots that I hope I can get some time for you guys. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> so I'm gonna walk around a little bit and I'm sure people are probably gonna think I'm a freak talking to myself, but I'm gonna show you guys some of what I'm seeing here in Merida. First of all, the architecture is amazing. Um, so I'm walking past this really cool fountain. Yeah. And I, oh, that's a beautiful um, church right in front of me. And since I am not a churchy person, I don't know really what the protocol is for going inside. So I'm just going to stay out here out of respect until I learn, because like in Thailand, you couldn't go in if you had a um, short dress. And that's kind of my situation today. And you couldn't go in if your shoulders were showing, but you know, obviously my shoulders are covered but um, my skirt is a little short, so I want to be respectful when I go into places of worship to show how pretty they are. Anyway, so <clears throat> what made me decide to come out here to this particular park today is at 8.30, there's, there's something going on all over the city um, in, in the various parks, and there is a dance that happens out here that is a throwback to the 1940s. 
and so that is what I came out here for and it looks like they're setting up the stage for that and there's all these little eateries here Hola. Uh, no, no ahora. Y, y um, luego. Ah, bueno. Okay. Graba el vino. Es esto. Anucho y yucateco. Helados. Okay. Oh, helados. Ah, yum, yum, yum. Ice, ice cream. Sí, sí. Ice cream. Okay. Uh, uh, the best uh, seafood. Okay. Aquí, aquí, Marcos. Okay, okay. Come on here. We're going for ice cream, guys. Do the sir. Marquesitas. Mar oh, I had those. Those are good. With the peanut butter or the Nutella, Nutella and, the, and the queso. Ah, si, si, si. Okay. 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 Uh, in, 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 un momento. Un momento. Si. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Graba chela. Cuando termine, graba chela. All right. Let's see. See, everybody's so friendly. I freaking love that. So they're setting up the chairs here um, for the show that is going to happen. And <clears throat> they've got, you know, obviously little tables out here. Hola, buenas noches. Um, for people to be able to sit and eat. I mean, yeah, to sit and eat. And uh, yeah, so here's the stage behind me. So once that gets going, then I will share that with you guys. And then perhaps I will have um, I don't know how to say dinner in Spanish. I know how to say breakfast and, and lunch. Um, desayuna y almuerzo. But I don't remember how to say dinner. So anyway, guys. All right. So I'm going to take a break. And uh, yeah, chill for a bit. See you soon.